Hi friends, now we are going to discuss about how to convert a word into PDF. For this, we need pre-installation for the conversion. Otherwise, the con it will fail to convert into the PDF, either Word or Excel. So let's check what we need. So we need add-on in Office 2017 I'm using. So I need a add-on for the conversion of PDF into a, sorry, conversion of PD, uh, Word into PDF. So let's check what is that uh, add-on file. So I right now I'm using 2007. So I don't have the plugin for my installation setup. So for that I'm externally downloading the plugin. So with my installation setup file of Office, I doesn't have the add-in. So additionally, I am downloading from the server. So let's uncheck this and select the 2007 Microsoft Office Suite Service Pack 3. So click on the next DirectX end user runtime web installer. So it will give the download of one file. So I already downloaded. Let me show you. So here this is the one. Save as PDF and XPS. Let's install this. I already installed. So I am showing again to install. So, so the installation is done. So I am giving you this URL in the video description. You can find out. After this, we will start implementation of conversion process. We will create a process. And the process name is create PDF what to PDF conversion conversion my process name so here I am opening it okay first what we need I have a sample PDF file so uh, I'm going to convert this PDF file into uh, sorry I have sample word file I'm going to convert this word file into PDF so for that I am taking action stage and I already imported the word PBO so I am selecting create instance to create a handler for this okay create instance and the second uh, step will be open word file so open document so second word and uh, for here we can find only open and we need to pass a handler and the file name so my file is available in uh, downloads so let me take path, path. So here it is. Sorry. So I paste it within the double quotes. Okay, and the output will be the document name. <coughs> Next action. So we don't need to show, just we'll go directly of conversion. So we don't need to open and see the content. So I'm choosing MS Word convert into PDF. So that was the option. So they given direct option for export PDF. So the inputs are document name, handler, and where should, where it will store and what is the file name to store. So I am giving the same path and same name, but the extension will be PDF. Okay output nothing okay i am save linking the stages and i am running it okay let's check whether it is created or not okay this is the document name what document see uh, yes it is created let me open and show you so you can see so this is firefox to see the pdf files foxy trader ok 
okay you can see the content right yes yeah, it is available in the word file as it is okay i'm again cleaning the file let's uh, delete this one this is a set of file for the pdf okay i'm resetting and i am running again see we have only the word document i'm running again See, you will got it. Okay. So we got it the file in PDF format. So you got it right. How to convert now? So, but uh, see, if I run again, it will overwrite the same file. It doesn't create again the same file. The PDF file. So how can we make it dynamic? Let's check. Once it is done, let's check. Or we we'll pause. Um, let me kill the process. Word, word, win word. So here are. I'm killing the process from back end. You don't worry about the exception. Okay. Now what I will do is I will if I run again the same file will get overridden. So I am making the uh, saving PDF file will be dynamic. For that I am concatenating with the date format date gets a text representing the format so uh, i will use this now is my date i want the i want format like dd mmm yy format okay paste it and evaluate so see we got it let's append this evaluate so we got the required format and we will use underscore okay if i run again and again it will queue keep on queue the it another file same file with another names Let me close and open again since uh, it is failing to open the word document you don't worry about this okay let's reset and run again Okay, it gets created. See the file of the PDF. The content is same, but the file name is 460 number. If we run again, it, the date will be the same. So for that, I am adding the seconds. It's better to add seconds, not the date. The format will be the seconds. Uh, we better use. With seconds, underscore Here I am going to use the same function with the seconds. Format date time I will use. instead of using this i will use directly the same function 
format date time and here I will keep seconds evaluate so I got it if I run again evaluate 20 I will get 22 okay now we are okay, fine with that let's run See this it's get created with the second so the file name if I run again it will create one more document let's try to open this Since my machine is blocking so it will create one more file let me close this so let's kill the process since my voice is blocking to open the file you don't worry about it it will work for you perfectly oh the problem we found is uh, we are not closing the instance that is the problem Let's Let's put the close option. Let's put the close option. Where is action add close? It is not closing properly. That's why we while opening again the word document, it is failing to open. Where is the close? Here is the close handler and the document which document we need to close. So let's link this. Save. Let me close. Close this one too. Okay. Any instances are there? Nothing, right? Okay, let me log in and run the process again. to PDF now try to run it see it's got created Again, it is created. See how many files it is creating with the same content. The file name will be the different to while running the process. How many times it is running? Those many files will get created. So now you got it how to export, how to convert Word into PDF or export into PDF. Thanks, friends. Thanks for watching video.